aquaculture industry and the governments say that net pen aquaculture provides much needed jobs in rural communities. The communities say, first, that salmon net pens create very few jobs. Per million dollars of revenue, recreational fishing produces about 30 jobs. Tourism produces 26 jobs, the lobster fishery produces 12.5 jobs, and net pen aquaculture produces just 6.7. This is a poor way to create jobs, and as aquaculture processing plants are automated, those jobs disappear. The communities say, second, that jobs in net plant aquaculture are very poor jobs. Let's face it, Nova Scotia's young people aren't coming home from Fort McMurray for $12 an hour, so these jobs go to migrant workers, not to Maritimers. This is Glenn Cook, CEO of Cook Aquaculture. Here's what he had to say about jobs in the Globe and Mail in 2007. We could use a hundred extra employees tomorrow. And we are in the process of bringing immigrants in from Romania and the Philippines. We've got maybe 70 workers today from those two countries. The communities say, third, that poisons and pollution from salmon feedlots threaten good existing jobs in lobstering tourism and the wild fishery. Net pen aquaculture produces profits, not jobs. And the profits go away, but the mess stays here. See our full-length film at salmonwars.com.